hello everybody welcome back again to my youtube channel thank you very much for watching god bless you if today is your first time you are highly welcome if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing it's absolutely free my returning subscribers thank you very much i do appreciate it. please after subscribing try to click on the bell sign the bell icon beside the subscription button so that you will be notified each time we upload our videos thank you very much god bless you so today we could go into the latest gist in town this now trendy gist and a very very interesting gist yes so let's begin The prophetess of Ife Kingdom. Now she will not see so very beautiful lady. Anyway, in case you don't know who this lady is, she is a she was a prophetess, or she is still a prophetess. Yes, she was a prophetess before she got married to the king, and even as we speak, she is still working for Christ. Yes, she is still a minister of God. Kudos to her because it's not easy to marry a king and still worship God because those things may, uh, kings, queens, traditional rulers, they do behind closed doors. Normally, no be where we're supposed to see a prophetess like this. But at the other way around, we go think, we go still say it's very good for a prophetess or a woman of God to marry a king so that. He could lead the king in a righteous way. So Naomi got married to this wonderful king. Naomi should be the third wife to this king. We all know what happened and how she, you know, how she went to the palace, told the king that God ministered to her, that she is going to be the next queen of the land. Actually, everything came to pass the way God said so glory be to God. Praise the Lord for that. And we can't know all the gist, the rumors, the big, big bloggers, Yoruba bloggers, Yoruba journalists, the people that shared the information that she's no longer in the palace. She left the palace. All the princesses, you know, chased her from the palace because they found out that she wasn't a Yoruba lady. She's a Igbo lady. Blah, blah, blah. So many things. In fact, latest, latest, latest. And the most important gist for YBC, it was the Yoruba bloggers, the journalists that shared the news, that posted that news that she was not in the palace. So nobody say people just cook stories or people wake up one morning to call they give stories of what we don't know. When you see something on media, especially on blogs, all these bloggers, the big bloggers, and especially those people are the same speaking language with this king, wife, this queen. So automatically nobody go doubt them. Yes, because when the rumors surfaced on internet, it was shared widely. The rumors went viral. It wasn't like maybe two bloggers shared it or two YouTubers did the video. Uncountable YouTubers did the video. I myself, I did series of video concerning these issues because I was following up. In fact, I even have someone in London, in UK, rather, who was giving me details what was going on. As if, I don't know if the person was actually correct or if that news were... 100% fact, but anytime I released the information based on what I read on social media and based on the, the details the secret Indian person was giving me, believe me, everything turned out to be, you know, like looking so real. Because before you know, you will see the same information on social media. So many YouTubers will do the same videos. So this no be coincidentally like a Maybe everything was planned or everything are just fake. Anyway, though, people, they arrange news and bring and come here. 
some bloggers go also lie is happening especially when they don't like you or when some evil people paid them to you know do caricature of your name is happening yes but in every rumor if you settle down do calculation you go see some evidence of fact inside any rumor they no go just come outside come they talk talk one billion people or one million people or 200 people go to talk and no you know i don't know how i want to explain this gist but never mind the purpose of today's video now just to tell when i say she came out to you know debunk the ongoing rumors about the divorce she left the palace she was chased out of the palace the king slapped her the king sent her away sent her families away blah 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 so she came out to debunk the news and then um, before i forget make i wish the king happy birthday he did his birthday just a few days ago if i'm not mistaken and this queen naomi she did you know she surprised the king the birthday the birthday was actually planned by her, so it, everything was like a surprise present for the king. So she tried. Congratulations. Happy. In fact, God will bless Una Union together. Once again, the king, happy birthday to you. More grace, more wisdom, more, you know, everything. More, more, more for you. So this is not the screenshot I screenshotted. This is not all the things me she, you know, she posted on our uh, social media handles telling the whole world what happened she said during this uh, pandemic uh, wahala koro she was ministering preaching the gospel touching lives doing what she knows how to do best but people come carry the matter come turn her upside down say she left the palace but she not left the palace she only stayed indoor because this is not the right time to serve God and work for God. But enemy, bad people, turn the matter upside down. Say, she know the palace again, no. King, don't drive her. Oh. The queens, the princesses, don't chase her away. Blah, blah, blah. Say, nothing like that happened. This is not the screenshot, not the scene. So she explained everything that happened you know, for a while now, the reasons why she wasn't seen as usual on social media with a king, because usually she normally goes out with the king. Anytime you see the king, you see the princess and um, this uh, queen rather all the time. But when she stopped going out with the man, people start thinking they were no more together, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, be big bloggers. In fact, when I did the video, few weeks ago if i'm not mistaken i showed everybody the screenshot i screenshotted it from the blog that shared the news so it wasn't as if i just sit and cooked stories and put together no after i wasn't the f only person like i was not the only person that did this video because the reasons why i'm explaining again for the second time or countless time some commenters like some com like i'll call you commenters or commentators people that watch and leave comments some of you guys are so annoying especially the the if i make i know you know call the the tribes of the people they will come bashing you know leaving you on on printed comments nasty comments as if you are the person that published this news or cooked this news together. News being shared by your whole Yoruba bloggers, published by them, not me. So for, for I don't understand, like all these commenters, commentators coming for us as if we were the, the people that cooked the stories or published the stories in the first place. We were not the one. So you go for your bloggers, your journalists, the people that shared this information. Anyway, that's not even the interest me because I be that kind of person. No matter when, when him, people try to talk or leave comment. On a comment, they really bother me. But sometimes 
how they like to explain some of our comments. No matter how annoying the comments sound, I they like to you know talk and make una no say una comments. We are supposed to carry those comments. Take and go repair Nigeria as a country because the country is sinking. The country don't go down completely. And we day here with our 3,000 era air time, you manage to get Wi-Fi. Then you start leaving unnecessary and uh, stupid comments just because your fingers, they're very good to type. I don't understand, but never mind. Make when I read this whole you know, all these write-ups, Mona, they see. So this now from the queen herself. She said she's fine. Their love is stronger than before. She's... Even when we go to show her evidence, we screenshot and say, see them. When I go see the leave comments, when I just to leave comments, when I no one read the person they show una, when I no one bother to know, just leave comments and leave comments. That is it. Now, wow, man, I take a easy. Oh, these people, princesses, queens, and kings, traditional rulers, political leaders, religious leaders, they are all under God, they are all under the Creator. So, even the Creator, people they talk about, you know, the Creator. They even they disguise the creator self. People go talk so ill about Christ and God Himself, and God Himself. No even they, you know, unhappy with the way people they talk about Him. He is the creator. Still, people are still talking about Him in on printed way. You understand? So, if we talk about these people or we analyze their issues based on what. We read on social media. Please, you guys should not come for us, okay? Go for the big bloggers, the people that shared the news. Go for them, not we. Mm hmm. Me, I just be petty, petty blogger, you know. Just they my corner, they do my stuff based on what I read, based on what I see. I will come and interpret it, you know. But I don't know how Nigerians they think. Oh. If you want to tackle problem, tackle it from the root. From the root, meaning go for the bloggers. Go for the bloggers and the journalists. They have it on their website till tomorrow. You never delete. Anyway, I wish her the best and the king. I pray they live together happily because marriage is for better and for worse. Yes, for better and for worse. So may God bless her union. Thank God she said that the love is even more stronger than before. So that is exactly what we want to hear. Good news, Heva. I love you guys so much. Please try to leave your comments below. What did you think about this video? I'm so happy they are together. Like I said, I have people who are telling me gist. When I mean gist, especially Naomi and the king. Yes, I don't know if those people are secret spy or if they are working in the palace. Because everything they told me, everything was published. I don't know if the people were the owner of the blogs that shared the information. Believe me. I just don't know. But believe me, everything they said uh, on blogs. Try and check. You will see all kinds of caricature things about these two. Yes, it is not really good. If whoever you are as a blogger, as a journalist, trying to bring this to dance, stop. If what you are saying are not fact, if they are not genuine, if you have, maybe you have been paid by some evil people, probably maybe the king has wives paid you to do all this just to bring the this new queen you know, down, or to make caricature of her, please stop. Yes. So, my lovely people, I will leave you guys here. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Remember to subscribe. God bless you until I see you again. One love.